Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial session. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your domain name and hosting on Ugohost. Um, if you're going to be building a website, one of the most, the first thing you have to do is to get a domain name and also to get a, to get a hosting package where your website files is going to be uploaded to. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the steps you're going to take to get your domain name and hosting on Ugohost. So let's get straight into it. The first thing you're going to do is to go to ugos.ng, go to your website URL bar, type in ugos.ng. So it's going to bring you to this page. So for me, the first thing I like to do is to enter my um, domain name. So for this domain, I'm going to be using um, WordPress tutor. So now I'm just going to press enter. So automatically it's going to add .com to it, but as you can see, .com is not available, right? So what I'm going to do is to change it to .site. Let's see if it's available. Yeah, you can see WordPress to the site is available. And all you just have to do is to click on add to cart. Once you've added it to cart, you'll see it at the bottom of the page. You're going to see continue, click on continue. Then it's going to bring you to the shopping cart. But if you noticed below the WordPress tutorial site, you're going to see no hosting click to add. So what I like to do is just click to click on this no hosting here, click to add. So it's going to show you the steps on how to get your hosting package. Um, now, for the hosting package, I think the two major ones you should concentrate on, especially when you're building a WordPress website, is the Linux hosting and the WordPress hosting. Where is it? Here. This one here and the first one. And the major reason why I say you should focus on those two is because um, for the Linux hosting, it's good for a starter. If you just want to build a landing page, a basic website, I think it's very fine. And the package here is so good where um, you get six gig web space, 30 gig, and you can add additional domain to the one domain you have. Let's say you have, for this one, we have WordPress to talk the site. Let's say you want to add another domain where you can also host that same, um, another website on that, on the same server. It's going to allow that you can do additional too. So it makes a lot of sense that you can pay monthly. That's very good. Then if you are, Building something, let's say, bigger than just the basic website, you can go for the Linux shared, um, the pro um, plan or the deluxe. Depends on what you're looking for, to be honest, or what your website is going to be doing uh, or what you're going to be doing on your website, sorry. Then the next thing is the WordPress hosting. Now, the difference between the WordPress hosting and the Linux hosting is the where the server is going to be, where your website is going to be hosted. Um, I mean the server, sorry. Um, for the WordPress site, it's going to be hosted on um, AWS server, which is one of the best servers in the world and is faster than any other server that I have worked with. So that's just the major difference. And you can see the first plan is 2.5, then you have 10 gig SSD. So the major difference is speed. And um, I don't want to get into a lot of the technical details. But one thing you should know is that the difference, the major difference between the WordPress and the Linux hosting is speed. And personally, if you can afford the WordPress hosting, I would advise you go for it. So for this tutorial, I'll just go with the Linux hosting. So I'll click on it. I'll just come down here. I'll click on order now. Now you see, um, it's going to bring you to this choose a domain. We've already gotten our domain, um, which is WordPress dot site. So the other option is register a new domain. That's if you haven't selected a domain or you've not searched for any domain previously, um, then you'll transfer your domain from another registrar. I think I'm going to touch on this on another video. Um, I will use my existing domain. Okay. So for this video, I'm going to use a domain already in my shopping cart, which is which is WordPress tutor dot site. So I'll click on use. So 
So it's going to bring me to configure Linux hosting, um, choose the billing cycle. So you have several add-ons, which are amazing to be honest, but if you feel like they don't fit into your budget, um, you can ignore some of them to be honest. Spam is bad. I feel they are plugins, especially if you are building a WordPress website, they are plugins that can avoid some of these issues. So um, site lock, um, code guard, they are very good plugins, but for me, if I'm to go for any one of this, I'll go for site lock and also code guard. But you see the rest, um, if they fit into your budget again, you can just add them to it. But for me, I'm going to, for this video, I'm going to ignore all of them. So then ignore this. So on the right hand side, I'm just going to click on continue. Now it's going to take me to the checkout page. So review and checkout. So I'll just select this then. Select my plan. Yeah. Um, so renewal renewal is going to be 33,000 per one year. So it's fine. So yeah, once we're done with this, if you have a promo code, enter your promo code and validate the code, but I don't have a promo code. So I'll just come to the right hand side. Tick, I have read and agreed to the terms and services. Click on checkout. Now it's going to bring me to the space. So I think it's a bad thing for them to not make the form very visible but we are going to um permit them i think they should work on this because on the review and checkout page if you scroll down you can only see this you can't see where you fill the form so what i would do is i'll just scroll down scroll down scroll down then you now see the billing details so this is where you create your account and it's very important to create a, create an account before the, you can get the domain and the hosting so for me, I'm just going to create, uh, I think I have one year, so I'm just going to change uh, change it to here, yeah, so tutorial. Gmail.com, enter my phone number, my billing address, I've already changed, I've added all this. So additional information, Um, where, how did you have, just ignore this. Customer category, I don't know why this is compulsory, but for me, I'm going to select web designer, consent to personal data, security question. Hmm. Um, I'm just put lucky. Then I'll enter my password. Enter my password. Please make sure your password is very secure. Please, please, and please. It's very important. So, yeah, domain. Then you scroll down the main link down this and just leave it at the default contact payment method. So how do you want to make, how do you want to be charged? Um, how do you want to make your payment? For me, I think the best is just payment, pay stack subscription. I think for me, if you want to use Rave or Flutterwave, that works for you. Then join our mailing list. I've already joined using another account. So I'll deactivate this. So once you're done, just confirm your details. So on the right hand side, Click on I have read and agree to the terms and services. Then, um, hold on, let me just change this email. I think I've used this email before. Let me just put five, then click on checkout on the right hand side. It's going to generate um, an invoice for you. So it will ask you to please check your email and follow the link to verify your email. You can do that. Um, you get an email from Google is to verify your, your account. So you can see the invoice here, um, premium 1000 domain registration. So the, the VAT, the VAT 27. So yeah, so um, all you just have to do is to, on the right hand side, click on pay, pay now, sorry, pay now. And for me, I'm going to be using transfer. I think that's the best approach for me. So let me just quickly do this. So once you've sent the money, um, all you have to do is to click on I've sent the money. And one thing I don't like, I think a lot of companies in Nigeria do is um, they have the charges, their pay stack charges to um, the checkout. So I was expecting to pay to seven. So where does the 38.34 comes from? So it doesn't make any sense to me. Anyways, um, I've sent the money. So I'll just click on I've sent the money. 
So let's wait for it to confirm the transaction. Yeah, so it has confirmed the transaction. So once it's done processing the payments, it's going to bring you to this other confirmation page where you see other placed. And if you have any questions, Joe. So what I'll do is just go to continue to client area. Yeah, so it's going to bring you to your dashboard page. Um, that shows that your payment um, is successful and um, you can start hosting your website and um, start setting up your, your website. So um, you can check my video on how to set up WordPress on Google Host. Um, so that is going to help you install WordPress easily in less than um, less than five minutes. So um, I'll drop a link to that video in the description. So if this video was helpful, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you have anything you want me to um, show you guys um, how to do, just um, comment below and I'm going to reply. Thanks for watching. Bye.